Works, and today we're here to demonstrate the use of the FlowJet bottled water pump in the installation of an espresso machine. What's really nice about the FlowJet bottled water pump um, is that, one, it's a small compact pump. It has a float system that turns the pump on and off when the delivery of water is uh, too low in the bottle, but it connects right to a five gallon or three gallon bottled water container. Connection of the, the pump and installation of the pump is very simple. This connection needs to be made on the inlet, and this connection is easy to remember for the inlet because it has this blue connector, which is the float switch. The float switch is what turns the pump on and off when the water level is too low inside of the tank. So we just press that piece inside of the port, push the locking pin into place, then we'll come over and we'll press the fitting into the switch port. Now it also comes with a DC adapter um, for power that has a similar type of connection. They, they're similar but they're not the same so they won't fit into the in, and cross over and this one gets plugged into DC in. Now that's going to be our power for the pump itself. On this side we have the out port. The out port is quarter inch press fitting. So in the instance of an uh, insult into an espresso machine, it's preferable to run a 3 8 hose. And so in that instance, we've taken a small length of quarter inch tubing, and then we've run it to a quarter inch to 3 8 polyethylene press fit adapter. In the use of an espresso machine, um, we also recommend um, the use of an accumulator. This is a small half liter accumulator from Flowjet also using press fit polyethylene uh, tubing type fittings. We'll go from this quarter to three eighths adapter to one side of the accumulator. There's really no flow direction of in and out. This is a pressurized vessel that's allowing additional downline pressure so that every time you have a demand for water, this pump does not have to come on. It will also provide a positive downline pressure in the I highly recommend the use of this accumulator with this system so that this pump will run last longer and that you have positive pressure downline for the device that you are running on. Very simple, it's been used in trade show um, situations uh, for temporary water systems, food carts, espresso machine installations in homes, and for ice makers and refrigerators. This is the Flowjet bottled water pump. It comes in a single inlet as well as a dual bottle system. Okay, this is utilizing the Flowjet bottled water pump in an installation of a commercial espresso machine in a home. So what we have is a single bottle Flowjet bottled water pump. We've connected a half liter accumulator to the system to provide positive down pressure, downline pressure to the espresso machine. This will also keep the pump from cycling on and off through the brewing cycle. What we've done, we've gone out of the accumulator with a piece of 3 8 polyethylene tubing and into another press fitting that goes out to 3 8 NPT. Now this particular hose is 3 8 BSP or British Standard Pipe. British Standard Pipe is a, is a straight thread, so we can run National Pipe thread into it because it's tapered. The tapered fitting goes into the straight fitting. We're just going to use a little bit of Teflon tape on these threads to seal the fitting. In the instance of this espresso machine today, this has a gear pump in it. It requires pressurized water going to it. So all of these devices sit underneath the counter, and they're all connected to a five gallon bottle, bottle of water that you can purchase at your hardware store, your grocery store, but it's typically uh, spring water.